With mandatory water conservation measures in effect, Governor Jerry Brown declaring a drought emergency in the state of California, and Castaic Lake reaching a record low capacity of 30%, residents of Santa Clarita are more worried than ever that in the near future they may lose something near and dear to them, a reliable water supply. We have no water based on snowpack and that's what's being advertised. The water park at Hurricane Harbor honestly probably won't make it through this. It, it will probably affect all of our rates. It, it may affect all of our taxes as far as if we have to buy water from outlying areas. We're in California. It's not exactly rainy. <laughs> it's not realistic that all of a sudden there's going to be no water. Dirk Marks is the water resource manager at the Castaic Lake Water Agency. He states the consequences of the drought vary from location to location and that the Santa Clarita Valley is in better condition than most. This is due to the fact that local water suppliers have been thinking ahead. Most years in the Santa Clarita Valley, we have more water supply than we have demand for. During those years where we've had excess supplies, we've taken water and put it into water banks. Santa Clarita is drawing on those banks to ensure supplies are adequate enough to meet demands during dry times. But there is concern whether these storages will be enough to support the thousands of new housing units being built in one of the fastest growing cities in California. We base our, our planning on uh, the type of demands that have been included in, in uh, by, the, by the city and by the county as far as what uh, future development is going to look like. We're probably in a better condition than many other regions in, in California. However, we're still having to comply with the same drought restrictions that uh, the State Water Resources Control Board uh, will be imposing on us. I think you're going to see a lot more getting out in the community and making sure that people understand what the what the restrictions are. Uh, I know the water agencies are committed to doing that. Uh, I know our agency has been working on a, a new data tool uh, which we actually look at each individual residence from an indoor and outdoor perspective uh, and set up a water uh, budget essentially for that household. Uh, and so that's starting to give us the data to know how people are using water and whether they're using it efficiently or not. Santa Clarita residents have only cut back 13% on water use since 2013. 25% is the current goal and it may be rising to 32% in the near future. With conservation efforts falling short, California snowpack plunging to record low levels, and little to no rainfall statewide, Santa Clarita is having to explore other methods of obtaining usable water. The Valencia Water Reclamation Plant produces recycled water. This is the process of taking wastewater out of the sewer system and treating it to drinking water quality. Recycled water is expensive and it only accounts for about 1% of our demand currently, but the city plans to expand the use of recycled water extensively in the future. This will ultimately raise water bills. The biggest effort is going to be in how we reuse water here locally and, and how we you know, manage our efficiency uh, locally. But those two things going forward, uh, are going to be the things that we have to succeed on uh, to continue this con community growing. Um, and I think that's where you'll see uh, both uh, the, the brain power and the financial power being placed in that direction uh, going over the next several decades. The Castaic Lake Water Agency believes we have enough water supply on average to meet demands through 2050. That may look a little different if weather trends persist, but even in the event California continues to see some of its driest years in history, the city will make planning decisions which will prolong and protect the water supply. For Cougar News, I'm Austin Westfall.